That's so sick. I'm playing the intro. Play no. the intro, bro. Here we go! It's loud as fuck. I don't know how to change that, but... Everything's working. Hold on. I'm holding. Hey, we're live. Hold on. Hi. Hello. Hey, what's up, everybody? I didn't have to <laughs> click on anything. <laughs> wow. This is wild. So, so, yeah, Brett got a new gadget. I did. I downloaded this Stream Deck app. Became yeah. an adult. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, it's I fancy. Feel, I don't know why we decided not to use it for so long. Because <laughs> we're fucking dumb. Stupid. <laughs> Uh, it worked. It seems to work pretty well. Now we just have to play with it and make the yeah, and show make, make more shit. Yeah. Put yeah. Some, do more things. Spooky do, stuff on the, on the screen. Yeah. 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 But it is Sunday, homies. It is. You know that it means. is Sunday. That means breakdown. 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 Chug chug and chug, other chug shit. Chugga chugga. Other chugga news chugga. and fucking album reviews and boy. Was it a fucking week for that? Oh fucking. boy, I've been, I've been looking forward slash dreading this all week. I thought the fucking the Unleash the Archers album was gonna be a chore to fucking do the review. And I listen listened to, to that album a hundred times over. <laughs> yeah, that's the fucking shit that we had to listen to. <laughs> yeah, any day of the week over. God damn. I listened it. to this a lot. Every time I was yeah? in the car, uh, every, when I would come home and I was cooking, I had it on. I was doing just. Cleaning, I had it on. I was listening to it just to make sure I know what I'm hating. Yeah, yeah that's fair. Uh, that's I mean, that's hey, listen, that's the same approach that I took when Twilight was coming out in the movies. I said, you know what? I'm going to hate this. I'm going to hate it right. So I read all four books. <laughs> yeah, I started doing that too. And I just, I, and I'm the reader, right? And I couldn't yeah. do it. And I couldn't find oh, it. Oh, it's not awful. <laughs> mm -hmm. But boy, did all the, the, the girls in high school be like, reason twilight huh i'm like oh yeah but not for not for the reasons you would like i know chris <laughs> you know, not for the for this sure all thing the or anything because i'm gonna shit on it real hard <laughs> right right yeah you, me you remember chris fucking wearing his shirt all the time for yeah. that exact uh, reason yeah just so that weird goth bitches would suck yeah. his ass yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow bro, bro i had i had a shot and i fucked a tree <laughs> Dude, legitimately is <laughs> sitting on the toilet, chowing down on a fucking hamburger, in and out at the same fucking time, and he had to let everybody know that. <laughs> yeah. That's that's an insight to our high school years, chat. Oh man. <laughs> no, the, the you, know, you missed the Monday show where oh, no. Brett, Steph, and I just went down a fucking oh, yeah. like we we had our own separate podcast within the <laughs> anime podcast of let's talk about local bands from Tampa very specifically ones that from Chambo and Gaither yeah. uh, from 2006 until 2000 about 11. Or are we talking about Villa Serena? Yeah, I showed you. I showed. <laughs> talking about a breath beneath us. Right the fucking <laughs> right there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's great. That was a very specific one. Um, very good. Then we, then we watched anime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a good Monday night. Oh, it was great yeah, Monday was night. That, yeah, it was fun. <sighs> Man. Um, but that, no, that's tomorrow. Yeah, right that's now, tomorrow's it's show. Time. It's time for the L music. Hey, let's start with off the um, with, with the housekeeping. If you like it, YouTube, uh, do the algorithm stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like thumbs up or whatever. Watch time. Just throw us on in the background and ignore us for all I care. Um, and Twitch, uh, uh, follow, sub. Yeah. Stuff. Ding. Got yeah, do, do all the good things. Yeah, gotta, uh, I want money. Um, yeah, but we want to stop doing normal shit. We want to do yeah. this for fun. Oh, for and, like, make the show better the because stuff. we have, you know, time and effort invested. Yep. Because we get, we get uh, you know, a return. Yet. Oh, no. What happened? Oh, no, nah, I'm just I'm also dead? watching the Liverpool game finish. Oh, uh, okay. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, yeah give us all the fucking stuff. We had a great race this morning, Brett. Uh, very exciting. Yeah, very yes, it was very fun. Um, yeah. A, a, lot, a lot of stuff Actually happened. Out for that. Almost watched a black man die. Uh, <laughs> yep. Oh, no. Yep. Yeah. But beyond that, now it's time for the news. And uh, get into it. Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot in terms of uh, content and all that stuff, but. Oh, interesting. Interesting pieces. Interesting stuff. stuff. Sure. So, Josh Holm of Queen of the Stone Age. Uh, he had a restraining oil order oil 
order filed against him uh, from his ex-wife on behalf of his two sons, who are 10 and 5, uh, who accuse him of physical and verbal abuse. And in the lawsuit, uh, it specifically claimed that Holm grabbed one of them's genitals, uh, threw objects at them, flicked their ears, and poked their chest, and uh, dr drove drunk with them in the car. But on the flip side of all this, two different judges have thrown it out of court because there's no actual substantial evidence leading to that. Which I feel when you're a famous person and it's dealing with abuse of your kids, especially in like right now, like sure. be real easy for a judge to be like, oh yeah, let's do this. Yeah. Let's, let's get the, rid of this guy. He already, you know, got in trouble for punching a girl for trying to get on stage like two years ago. Remember that? Right. Right. So let's just knock this guy out. But they, on the flip side, they have not. Yeah, and I feel like uh, we need to look at. I know this is this is not this the show. That's just not right. But we do need to look at substantiated claims, right? We need we need evidence. We need true justice, not just like, hey, this is going to be newsworthy. Let's fucking do it just for that. Yeah, like that's not worth it, you know? Because every person, regardless if you're famous or not, you are a person in this country right you have the same rights as everybody else um but yeah so like just like how jason said the johnny depp bullshit like that was a fiasco uh -huh. you know we don't we don't want that happening every other month you know we want to make sure everything's true no when people get canceled i want them to deserve to be canceled I'm right, 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 right. Fuck of it. right um but yeah Very there's a, there's a good point to that because uh in looking into this stuff um his ex-wife in question has have uh, a history of him needing to put like basically restraining orders against her because she's claimed that he's been uh beating her and all that stuff and he had to like make sure that she doesn't show up to shows because she starts shit right. all the time so she sounds like a legitimate crazy person and is forcing his kids to say all this shit which is why it's interesting that they they put in you know all the uh, articles that she's doing it on behalf of her, her sons yeah right Wait, here's the thing though why why stay married Oh, their ex-wife. They're not even together anymore. Oh. Yeah, because somebody well, wants something. Why the fuck something, are they right? talking to each other? Right. Well, the kids. She's crazy. No, no, fuck it. Yeah. No, don't. Just text her and be like, Here, here's kids. No, what, what you do is you hire a hitman. <laughs> and then you have... <laughs> you, no, you don't do that. You do, okay, you do you, it at you the gym. Do that, you only do that if your name's Tim. Right, right. Um, but like then again, we look at these young kids. They're 10 and 5. You know how easily it, you can like manipulate them? Oh well, yeah, why wouldn't you trust your mom? Right. Because she's you know? a fucking psycho bitch, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they don't know what that is. Dad's gonna, they be, they're like, gonna come to dad's whole... house and he's like, fuck whatever the fuck she says. Here's some fucking ice cream. Now shut the hell up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's 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 a it's a mess, but Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a never mind baby scheme. It's just yeah. her trying to get damages and cancel his ass and get money out of it. Yeah, it's just these these lawyers don't have anything better to do than say like, hey, we're not gonna do this. So, you know, they're like, no, I like the money. We'll do it. You know, that's what it is. And guess what? The lawyers gonna pay it anyway. So who cares? right, exactly. All um, right, next fucking shit show. What's, oh, what's right. on the... this one's a shit show. God damn, I've never seen bad. one. This one's so, bad. So, uh, Nicki Minaj's husband, you uh, named Kenneth Petty, I've never heard of. No. Um, Very Kyle he, Petty. He had the... Oh yeah. Tom yeah, Petty? Richard Petty, yeah. Or right. Tom Petty. Tom, Tom Petty. Petty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't think they're related. Uh, yeah, um, I don't know, Kenneth. Uh, he had to plead guilty <laughs> for uh, failing to register as a sex offender. Ruh row. Um, how, do you, how do you forget to do that? Well, see, they moved and they never uh, re-registered in New York. Also, he's been fighting this thing since it happened back in 96 or 95 mm -hmm. when uh, both him and the survivor were 16 uh he was convicted of first degree attempted rape back then uh, he served four years in prison and uh all the while continued to maintain his innocence um and apparently the survivor has also filed a lawsuit against the couple last month uh claiming that they've been harassing her about the incident to shut the fuck up basically oh. and even Nicki minaj offering her five hundred thousand dollars to go back on her claims and get him clean slated so that's not a good look. Uh, <laughs> I would take the money like... and then rat them out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, do it all. But here's, here's, the here's the thing, though. Yeah, but she's you... not going to get 500 grand out of this. If, it's, if there's a settlement, there's a guilty party. Yeah. 
Always. Period. Period. Right? You just don't offer someone money when something isn't real. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's not even like a rumor like he maybe did. Motherfucker yeah, got convicted. Convicted. Yeah. So, so, it's just another trip down. That's just not right, I guess. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I, again, I, it, it, per, it permeates through everything, much like Lemillion, you know, but not no <laughs> more. Um, <laughs> well, shut up. There's no you there. <laughs> Don't say anything beyond that. Yeah, you uh, shut your fucking mouth right now. <laughs> uh, Metallica's Blacklist covers album came out this past week. Okay. And uh, they had 53 covers on that bitch what? of of just songs from the Black Album done by various people. Um, right, if you want to click that link, you can bring up Louder Sound did a, a ranking uh, of them all. But we can just scroll through real fast and just see some of the names on it because I'll, listen to all I'll be 53 honesty, right now. No, we're not uh, because a lot <laughs> of them's from people I've never heard of. Uh, I believe it. Oh yeah, just just scroll through real fast. They look you know? like they're in a yacht rock. Okay, band so you got the fun. Neptunes, you got my morning jacket. That's cool. Okay. Uh don't know who them are. No uh, idea. Dermot Dermot. Kent, Dermot. Dermot. Uh Jose Madero. I know these Cage. guys. Yeah, Cage Elephant. Cage Elephant. Uh, Rodrigo, Rodrigo Gabriela. 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 Pretty good. That's probably good. Royal Blood. Yeah. Oh, this is the one with uh Biffy Clearo. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. The Best of the Man, that's cool. Oh, Cherry Glazer, it's a little feminist punk rock band. Uh, Corey not, Taylor? Not Corey surprised. Taylor. Yeah. yeah, of course. Uh, okay. What? Mexican is right. just down. Sure. Jay Balvin. Chris, Chris Stapleton, Stapleton doing nothing else now. I, looked, I listened to a little bit of it. it was is this all the same song as Sad But True a hundred times? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because it's only the fucking 10 song album. Yeah. There's Man, Rucker, they're not even going to do Terrible. the whole album. It's just the same three songs. Weezer. Really? I bet that song a... sucks. Oh, yeah. Probably. I don't even want to listen to that. The Who? The who? <laughs> True. There's the oh, there's... song. Yeah. All right. Uh, and then getting into the, their top 10. Phoebe Bridges. Bridges. Interesting. St. Vincent. Vincent. Volt. Oh, Volt beat. Jesus Christ. Ghost. Ghost. Nate. Don't know who that is. Ego nope. Love It. Don't know any of these. Miley Cyrus. Are you fucking sick? Elton John? Yeah, that <laughs> one's actually pretty good. Oh wow, oh, interesting. Shit. I mean, but, weird. Yeah. Oh god. So they were on Howard Stern together, uh, Miley and them, and they performed okay. this cover and all that stuff. But Elton John called in as a surprise to Metallica and everything. Oh. And he made James Hetfield cry because he said that uh, nothing else matters is truly like one of the, the greatest songs ever written and all that stuff. And for Elton John to say that, yeah, you're James pretty... Hetfield. I mean, if that was me, that's pretty right. And Art was like. Dude, I felt his like body, uh, body like energy shift when you said that. And I truly know how it means as Lars Aldrich. <laughs> wow, wow. Yeah. Well, but that's pretty cool. I mean, hey, 30, 30 years, you know, we're coming up on big milestones. We got 20 year anniversary for 9 11. We got, you know, Black Album and Nevermind and N. I didn't see shit on social media about 9 11 until today. Yeah, the aftermath of yeah. everything. And I was like, oh, yeah. oh, cool, after. Yeah, of course. I was expecting a lot of 9-11 style tattoos. Oh, shit. Hybrid theory is 20 years, Jason says. Yeah, yeah. true. Holy shit. All right. Mm. Not this week. Weird. Not this Weird. week. Weird. Uh, okay. Anyway, moving on. Okay. There is a... Um, I'll listen to that shit. A metal base <laughs> not outside of a gig after confronting a, a possible gunman. Oh. Um, Darren Wall of the band Greyhawk uh, tried to prevent a shooting outside a venue in Boise, uh, oh, no. but was shot while tackling the gunman. He is recovering. He's fine. Uh, they got the gunman in question, arrested and all that shit. In he Boise. Like a, in Idaho. In Boise. In Idaho. Uh, yeah, and he looked like how you expect. I saw the mugshot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah some fucking middle of nowhere hillbilly ass. Yeah, he looked yeah. like a potato. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, man. All right, Wes well. Scatman, however the fuck you say his dumb name from Puddle of Mud, is back at it again. <laughs> I see that. Uh, <laughs> this time in an interview doing a freestyle rap. Right, if you want to click that little link right there. I, I sure know. don't. Should <laughs> 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 you do. take Puddle. you right to the moment? And, uh, wait, 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 hold on, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yep. Oh <laughs> Jesus. Pause. Oh, that's ah, this is the wrong song. Okay. There you go. 
You need okay, to use. You, you gotta use your stream deck. I, I I'm trying to. I thought I was really gonna be All a right. very good rapper, but I could probably. I mean, you know, I could come up with some cliches and stuff. I'll call my brother. He's he's the smart guy. You think you can bust out I a little freestyle for me right don't now? Don't believe it. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Easily I approach the microphone because I ain't no joke. Tell your mama to get up a my kid. I got no time to give them my dick. I'm going to hold it, yeah, and walk up on the stage, and if you fuck up, I'm going to get my gauge and unload the barrel and laugh, because I'm putting lead in your motherfucking ass, Piotr. There you go, bro, and you definitely got some skills there. I could definitely see a, uh, <laughs> a West hip-hop album coming out there. What would be your rap name if you uh, had to choose one? DJ Fozzie Brown. DJ Fozzie Brown, I like that, man. He didn't that's even that's like flinch sure. that question. Yeah, yeah he already there was not, yeah, right up at all. He knew that's what uh, he so, wanted. So what's next that's, for you, man? What, what's your plan? Oh, my God. Get uh, fucking stop. <laughs> no more puddle of mud. Oh, my God. <laughs> Whoa, breaking news. Brett, this is relevant to us oh and only us. <laughs> um, Max Verstappen has been given a uh, three-place penalty at the next race for the incident. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> See? Yeah. It's almost as if you know what he's talking about. Oh. Almost as if. Uh, after the race, the dirt stewards declared Verstappen was the driver predominantly to blame. Uh, so, <laughs> even jo better. Josh, what a Max fun time. parked his fucking rear tire on Lewis's head. Yeah. Oh. Like, yeah, it was, it was it a wreck. Was, the, the tire was literally touching his helmet. Holy shit. Yeah. Wow. Like, Wild. if he hit the gas, like, Lewis would have been dead. Yeah, for real. Crazy. Like, that tire is spinning at all on the helmet. Like, fucking, he's gone. Like, oh, it was nuts. It was nuts. Yeah. Um, in better news, or not yet, <laughs> uh, not yet better news, but me first of the Gimme Gimme has announced that their tour with the Violent Femmes and Flogging Molly will require proof of vaccination or a recent negative test result. So good on them. More bands yes. are going to have to start doing this, whether right. they like it or not. Yep. Um, and, and the best news, Mark Hoppus, one Blink-182, uh, is done with chemo, according to Tom DeLong. Um, that was really great. Blink yeah, um, yeah. I mean, cool. That's pretty rad. Uh, great for him. Hopefully it sticks and he goes into remission Agreed. and we're good. We don't have to worry about this. He has the money. He can afford it. So, right. You know. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, last but not least for the news, before we get into the announcement, uh, Lisa, Blackpink, you do this one because I don't know what you're saying. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> Lisa is the, the rapper um, of Blackpink, one of the sure. girls. And... She broke some records over the weekend because she put out a solo album. It's really like two songs, but but get these are the metrics. All right, chat, get be fucking ready for this because Brett was shocked. Oh, dude, yeah, this is <laughs> this is not real. <laughs> so over the two days, they um, Lisa got 112 million views on her new uh, video. Two days, two okay, days. which is wild, right? Pretty sure she either tied or beat BTS on that. So we know that's already a big thing, but even better, right? She broke size record for Open Gundam style, right? Yeah, for fastest music video in K-pop to reach 100 million. Yeah. Hi, teacher. Uh, yeah, hi, Cody, Geek Republic Media. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this the Lisa that performed on Jimmy Fallon? This is, yeah. So this is a different Lisa than the Lisa we know from, from anime. Yeah. Yeah. From anime, yes. Different Lisa. That makes so much more yeah, sense. It's not I gotta tell you, I watched it and I was like, this sounds completely different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Lisa from Japan, <laughs> rock and roll. The Lisa from K-pop, hip-hop, right? Gotcha. Um, Did they already tell this Lisa there was another Lisa <laughs> of like same regional, you know. It's spelled different. The, the Lisa in Japan has an L and a lowercase i essay. Yep. And this oh, one is oh, this one is yeah, it's different, right? Um, but I think this this metric's even crazier. She um, got oh, 10 million views in 90 minutes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> fucking nuts. No, yeah. 
That's not real. Yeah, that's what. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> you don't. You don't fuck around with the blinks, okay? The K-pop armies. You don't fuck there's, with them. Okay. There's not even that many people, and like, were they just refreshing it? Like, what the fuck? How do you do yeah. it? <laughs> it's, I, I bet it's bots and shit, but like, that's still just insane. It's just still a lot. It's, yeah. It's, right. She just. Not she just number. played uh, Jimmy Fallon like yesterday, and that already has like 11 million views on it. All right, so it's like it's just it's just wild. I put the song on the list. It's okay. It's not a good pop song. No, I didn't like it at all. I was really disappointed. It's a good, it's a good K-pop song. That's the difference. K-pop has its own thing. I don't think it's gonna transcend like the BTSs or the Twices in the world. You know, we've listened to some of them. We're like, hey, those are pretty good. Stick them on the list, right? But the this one is strictly if you're a, a Korea boo, you like it, and that's it. If you are a, a pop liker in uh america it's not for you that's that's essentially what it's like yeah. it ain't for you ain't it's a, for a you. lot of repetition a lot of weird lyrics but hey we'll get into it i like it because i am in a korea boo yeah okay <laughs> uh real quick before we depart from the news since it was uh relative it's the if you want to click on that link brett it's just uh we could just take a look at it real fast it's uh miley performing with metallica Oh yeah, wow. so uh, Jason did say in, in chat that Miley looks like a grunge Let's singer talk. now. Kind yeah, of, it, right? It's kind of like Blondie, right? Something like along those lines. Yeah. Rock and roll. Elton John said that most likely she has the best, right now, the best rock and roll voice um, about this ever song. right now in this time. I know. Miley's going to do with you guys <laughs> to honor the Black Album. We're talking about nothing else. We don't, yeah, just, know, let's, I wish it would make more rock music. It's super song. cool. Sing it too. So when they're actually singing. Eggs and no gimmick. To music. In all fairness, this is the best song on that album. I liked playing this one uh, during the halftime show for Marching Band. I did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I fucking hated playing the chimes on this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got to dance around with the tenors. <laughs> I still don't understand how how Dell thought we were gonna try to win states with this. <laughs> but oh, that's right. a whole nother. Hey, y'all should have did Iron Maiden or something. I know we should have done something cooler. We did Iron Maiden for freshman Josh. I don't think you went to that. The Indiana no, trip? That, no, that no that. Yeah, no, I didn't go, but I was there. Oh, you were there? So yeah. So we, we did uh, the trooper. The trooper. Uh, Lars's technique is terrible. Because he's still after like 40 years. He never learned. Drums. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's been 40 years. You'd think you would pick up how to do this the basic technique. Fucking A. Like, everyone else can play their instruments, like, really well, yeah. honestly. Like,. It's like he's like fucking up he, right now. He's still counting. Yeah, you can see him concentrating to even hit the hi hat. Oh, he's also in the studio, so he has to try to be quiet. He gets a it like normal. Like, but like, look at his stick heights though. They're fucking over his. They're legit going backwards. Like, uh -huh. he's trying his best to be loud. He's got a toothpick in his mouth. He's drumming with a toothpick in his mouth. It's cool. <laughs> the 80s people in the, it's like everyone forgot how to play instruments in the 80s she's got a good voice though for this kind she of always music. has a good voice she just the yeah even for the thing. pop stuff yeah i would say if she were to reinvent herself as like a, a, a blondie 2.0 i'm all I mean, for that's it. basically what the last album was, was blondie 2.0 right yeah yeah some of it i did listen to it was kind of rock and roll like billy idols on it fucking yeah. dude she's like best friends with the dude from um Flaming lips. James looks like your dad now. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a New York accent. Give him a fucking Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Like he's just got. He's got to trim up the the handlebars a little bit. Yeah. All right. Yes, she's yeah, she's she a great did. vocalist. Yeah, I want to see. She should do like a heart cover album. I'd listen to that. Oh but, yeah, she that'd be hearts. sick. Barracuda, man, that'd be. Or sick alone. Song. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Or, very uh, good. or other heart songs. All uh, the. 
Yeah, very cool. N- anyway. Nice, uh, nice share there, Jason. Okay. Uh, so Mastodon announced they got a new album coming out this October oh, on the 29th. There you go. Hush and Grim. We got the album artwork. Looks really cool. <laughs> we got a new song. It's in the list. We'll definitely see that today. Um, Stone Temple Pilots and Bush have canceled their U.S. tour due to COVID. Go figure. Mm. Uh, Monkey will miss a couple of corn shows due to COVID. Go figure. And uh, Incubus cancels some shows over COVID. Yeah. Go and, and guys, figure. There figure. seems to be a so, pattern here. But this is, no but way. there's even a better. Like if you were to be <laughs> like a sociologist, right, and look at the the clientele of these types of of concerts, there's a reason why they're canceling at such a high rate. And most likely, it's because of the fucking people that go to to see Stone Temple Pilots and the people or, that like Bush or a band called Monkey with a U. Oh no no no! Monkey <laughs> is the guitarist from Corn. Yeah, the dude from Corn. Whatever. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, the people who like this music aren't the, usually the ones that have the brains, right? Yeah, well, I'm just saying. Well, there's Very... that, but like, also, you gotta imagine also just in the camp, it's just spreading. Like, it's just yeah, that's yeah, the other yeah. thing. We shouldn't be having shows to begin with because sure. we're not ready. Yeah. So everyone's gonna get sick and everything's gonna yeah, get. Yeah, and all these people are traveling, seeing thousands of people every single day. Like, yep. you can't contain it that way. That's again, imagine doing this during a zombie apocalypse, like. Yeah, we gotta cancel this show because uh people got bit. So Yeah, some someone got bit, someone died, and now there's yeah, unless, hundreds of them. Unless everywhere. you're in other countries <laughs> that actually follow the rules the whole way through and can open up now and have proper restrictions. Right. Or, you know, bands that say like we need to see a vaccination card or mm-hmm. you need to be tested that, before yeah. you get the fuck in the venue. Like Unleash the Archers is on tour right now with Seven Kingdoms and a bunch of other power metal bands. Not one fucking cancellation except for the issue at the border for immigration. Not even a COVID related thing. They just said, if you're going to come to our show, we want to go back home eventually. Right. Don't fuck with us. Right. So yeah. they said, get, get your vaccine or you can't come. It's easy. It's so funny. I have a friend, like one of the only people I'm still semi in contact when I lived in Louisiana when I was like little, little. Yeah. Um, and she lives in Washington now. She just went up to Vancouver, Josh. Um, uh-huh. And she was telling her story about trying to get in and crossing the border and all that stuff. And they were just like, the entire life history, let's go. Have you ever been arrested? Have you ever like, ma- like just hard as shit to get in? And she's like, if you go to Mexico, they're just like, all right, see you. Yep. I said, I've had. <laughs> I've I've had both ends of it getting into Canada. My my first my first time going through, um, she just lady looked at our IDs and she's like, "What are you guys doing?" We we're like, "We're just tra- you know traveling on vacation." It's like, "All right, cool, see ya." I've yeah. had times where they stopped me and s- searched my car for three hours. Right. I think a lot of it's random. Like for me to cross over t- uh, recently, what cost a couple days. I had to you know get a test put in on this little app that i have my vaccinations all that kind of stuff and then i was like yeah but i have a visa as well and they're like well, let me see it all stood there and they're like all right you know move forward but even when i got there with the te- negative test and the vaccine i still had to go take another fucking test like they don't mess around <laughs> <laughs> you know they don't... Yeah. right like again our our tattoo shop was the only per- only place i've ever saw uh that was doing like the temperature checks at the door and we don't yeah. even do that anymore but like Nowhere else did that. No restaurant or nothing like they ever give a shit. Right. Anywho, let's get into the releases. Coming out this Friday, the seventeenth, we got Little Nas' X's debut album, Montero. Oh yeah. We got the new Thrice album, Horizons That's East. That's right. That's right. Uh, I'm yeah, that'd be that. cool. That's gonna be fun. Yeah. Uh, new album from uh, old '90s band Candlebox, oh. a Wolves. Why? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Torn in Two by Real Friends. Uh, Alien Weapon with me with Tangaroa. Oh, I'm sure. Tangaroa. Billy Idol. Just talked about him a second ago with the roadside. He's still doing stuff. Good for him. New plot in you. The swan songs. Um, Don Broco comes out this week with amazing things. Idola comes out with the architect. Uh, Jose Gonzalez. I remember Josh. You know that person. Yes, I do. Uh, he has got a new album called Local Valley. And last, but certainly not least, the long awaited debut album from Sphere Box, Eternal Blue. Cool. It's it's gonna kill. It's gonna kill. It's gonna I be can't so Josh, I'm um, assuming that's gonna be your pick for when it comes back around to you. I why not, right? That's next week. Yeah, so it'll be a new one, yep. 
Yeah. Yeah. So. It's going to be a great, a great pick. So go get hyped for all those or none of those or some of those. That's whatever you want to do. Let's see <laughs> some merch. Merch yeah, alert. The merch. Now accessing merch alert. See, Brett, oh, if man. you have, you could have pressed the button. I can make it now. Try it. Can you do it quick? Um, how, fa- how fast do you got it? Shit. Somebody talk. Uh, um, Somebody talk. Pause. And stalling. And. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's going to be super fun to have all the stingers and all the other cool shit that you can add in there. Because we have technology now, chat. Yeah. We have technology. I've got some ideas I want to run by. I, I was coming up with them very stoned on Monday with Brett. Uh, but, like, no ideas way. for like little like intro stingers and all that stuff for the germ logo, but done in old Game Boy like intros. Press, like press start. Yeah, right, like on, you know the fucking on. Game Freak one for Pokemon. Oh, very nice. Hold all on, you gotta sorry. do is download the animation and then fuck with it on. Uh... Now accessing file merch alert. It fucking worked. I'm Yay. on the wrong page, but it worked. <laughs> very good. There it is, chat. Oh, that was cool. Oh, hot sauce? Oh my god. Hot sauce. It is complete. It ran out in 20, like 20 minutes or I an hour it. or some I shit like it. that. Uh, but yeah, Dance Gavin Dance put out uh, a strawberry, strawberry Revenge hot sauce. It looked amazing. That's an amazing shirt that you could have gotten with it. Uh, but they did say it's coming back later this year. So oh, okay, cool. Well, yeah, that this, has, this looks cool awesome. You don't have to buy it. You should put that shit on the hot ones. Zero calories. Test Hell it yeah. out. Yeah. Drink it and fucking. Oh uh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's Very cool. cool. I love that shirt. We're getting. Hey, yeah. All right, you were talking about like that style artwork needs to come back. There you go. There it is. Yep. The crazy stuff from the two thousands. Yeah, we were mm-hmm. looking at the Homesick album cover. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, whoever did that in Plagues, that guy needs to come back. All right. Okay. Uh, Spill Canvas's new album that came out this year. Uh, That's right. Saw the vinyl for that. it. Very pretty. Yeah, it's very nice. Like pastels and stuff. Yeah. That's still on my maybe list of albums to review, but we got a lot of albums coming out. These yeah, there's a lot of stuff yeah. coming for sure. Yeah. We're we'll to do a special about the ones we missed. Oh yeah, we could. We could. That'd be a good special At episode. The end of year. Sure. Um. Okay. All right. Uh, these, new these. bullet for my Valentine merch for their uh, upcoming album. Like when the hell does this come out? Uh, soon. Neither yeah, do they, they haven't put out any new uh, singles besides that one we that listened one. to, right? No, yeah. yes, they did. Oh, did they? Is it on the list? I, I think it is. Holy it shit. On. I, I'm pretty sure they did. If not, we'll have to search. I want to hear if there's anything better than that one track. Like, that yeah, was fine, but I want something else. I, I want a little bit more. I want a little more. I want to see if the cringe holds true. Yeah. <laughs> it's only 10 that songs. That could be a good retro album we listened to. The Poison, that'd be fun. That was actually a good. Uh, yeah, I love that album. That'd be a fun Oh, one. no. Harvey Elliott got injured. Damn it. Uh, All right. Bullet. Four oh. pages. Oh, yeah. And then the EP, go, guys. EP well, comes out yes. but, uh, October. It's only four songs on it. Yo. That looks sick. That's oh, oh, that's the sick. back? Yeah. Bro. It's etched. It's fresh. That's, That's cool as fucking fuck. cool. Now I like how this. If you look at the the cover art, obviously it's the the helmet. That guy's like been on multiple albums, uh-huh. so he's like they're carrying it through. But with In Void or whatever that album was in between, did not oh, have white, anything to do with that. Black one, yeah. Right. So it's interesting that this they one. skipped over and say, yeah, like that has nothing to do with like the warrior, right? So now we're seeing that again. Hey. You know, with the Eternal here. Hey, you I have that one sitting right back there. Yep. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I think I think it's cool that they're going back to, you know, the, these characters. Yeah. They're like night, dude. Oh, that was that was a nice small front, uh, big background on the bottom there. Oh, yeah, right there. This one right here? Yep, that one. And there's one down one more row. Oh, that oh that's cool. With that one's sick. Standard black, yeah. With the white line on it. Oh, yeah. That's super cool. Um, Go down to the very bottom, I think I saw it. Yeah, that gray one. Uh, this one? Oh, this one. Yeah, front, small, small front, big back. Yeah, it's pretty cool Ooh, with that. That's cool. That's sick. Yeah, that's looking rad. It's only big 15 bucks. Wow. I love Warrior of Ages. Yeah, I might have to grab that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah that, that, I didn't even see the edge back. That's amazing. That yeah, looks awesome. looks cool. Yeah. 
I want the only that. one I have that's etched like that is uh, the Crow album has the Crow on the back of one of them. Mm -hmm. I think maybe one of the uh, Let's Sales probably has something too. I, I believe it. Um, here's the new Mastodon album, Ooh, uh, the Revolver cool. version. What a cool it's cover limited, art. It's a limited edition. There's the normal one. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, man. that's sick. I like that a lot. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited to hear the new... Uh... Oh, me too. I'm ready for some Mastodon. <laughs> when that shit randomly comes up on my like playlist, like in the shuffle, I'm like, God damn it. Why don't I listen to these dudes more like on a consistent basis? Because I love it every time it pops up. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Right. I know you don't you don't love it's that. They're not my favorite. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll but listen it's good. to them. All right. And last but not least. Nice. nice. Ah, six, six, six. Hell Satan. There's a spirit box. Oh, my oh, God. Revolver edition. Hell um, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Only 100 available. Pre-order now. Cool. Good luck. Yeah. 45. Damn, that is some freshness. God, that looks cool as fuck. I, yeah, I like that. That that blue I'm so and the white. Excited. Like mm. that that album is gonna fucking rip. I can't mm -hmm. wait for it. It's gonna be like new core and emo and so beautiful. Yeah. I can't wait. I just can't wait. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. music is gonna be great. End of September, going in October. It's gonna be a yeah, good we time. We got a for, lot of good albums show. lined up yeah. for release. Very good uh, rest of the, the year here. Oh, okay. Time. <laughs> Strap it in, time? chat. It is time. <laughs> Fuck fucking... me. We don't have an intro. We need to get a little intro for this one. Yeah, we do. We do. Yeah. Record scratch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our review of a day to remembers 2021 album you're welcome right. it's finally yeah. time we're finally doing it yeah um, we've been talking yeah. about it a lot we've, we, been, we've been like we were back and forth last week because we didn't know what cody you didn't know what we were going to do we kept finding cool songs to be like oh that's a single that's not a full album yeah. mm -hmm. and and the album we did choose ended up being a shit so we were like fuck that we're going to do something <laughs> different and then we, we just bit the get bullet. this out of the way yeah we bit the bullet we tried to ignore that this even existed yeah. Right. Well, I mean, I, every week I look at a tree who's baptized, and I'm like, yeah, it's, it's not a great album, but it's better than this one. It doesn't deserve to be at the bottom. This right. deserves to be at the bottom. Yeah. We have to we have to suss this one out. Right. Yeah, I have yet uh, to do an actual score on this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna I, do that. Yeah. Right now. I, I didn't. Do that. I didn't. I, I, I didn't get plenty of stuff to talk about. <laughs> yeah. So before you jump into that, I just want to say, like, I didn't. I hated this so much. Listening to this, okay, that I didn't even give a shit. To, like find the nuance in the percentages that i gave each, <laughs> each category <It> was, <laughs> okay like i wanted to be like okay i want to be as fair as possible that's what i've been doing the last couple weeks really saying okay is this a, a five or is it a 5.2 like there's a difference and it does help the score right i did not give a fuck this time <laughs> okay you got what you got okay <laughs> that's, that's it i could not even be fucked with it so with that in mind chat all right let me, sure. let me start going through all this because boys are a lot all right strap in so it, is the, it is their seventh studio album it was released march 5th of this year uh it has 14 tracks clocking in at a underwhelming 46 minutes and 21 seconds that's right for 14 oh, songs for 14 tracks that Jesus. is too many that's too many and too little <laughs> Yeah. Um, it is their first release under new label Fueled by Ramen after six years as an independent band. And you can tell. Uh huh. And uh, it's their first release in five years, marking the longest gap between two albums. Mm -hmm. uh, the production team, instead of just one producer, I have to go through a whole fucking team. Um, it is as follows uh, You got Colin Britton, uh, who did pretty much all the tracks except for the other, like, you know, couple that the other three did. Um, his career started in 2014, and he's worked with bands and groups such as Five Seconds of Summer, One OK Rock, Avicii, New Papa Roach, New All Time Low, Hands Like Houses, and Basement. So, so metal mm. bands. Yeah, absolutely metal bands. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Five Seconds it's of Summer, right? They fucking they throw down. Yeah, he's pretty much on 90 percent of the album, right? Uh, you got Mike Green on the second and eleventh tracks. Those are. Let me pull it up real fast. So, 
I know which ones. Um, those are Mind Reader and Degenerates. Uh, this guy's worked with. Uh, he did Paramore's first album. All we know is Falling. Great album. Uh, he's worked with Rufio, Breathe Carolina. He did the production for Punk Goes Pop Two. Uh, Set yeah. your goals. Uh, the de- this will be the death of us. Bill Campus. Uh, Pierce the Veil, All Time Low, New Found Glory, Bless the Fall, Color Morale, State Champs, Neck Deep. This guy so has K-pop. worked a lot of bands. So there you right. go. There's the yeah. pop punk one. So it makes yeah. sense that Mind Reader and Degenerates is the pop punkiest ones, Correct, arguably. Right. Uh, you got Will Putney uh, working on Last Chance to Dance, the heaviest day to remember uh, song of all time. Ah! Um, is that the Five Finger Death Punch song? Yeah. Uh, you might remember him as being the, the guitarist for Fit for an Autopsy, and we talked more in depth about his career in the Brain Pain episode. Uh, tag that little nub in the YouTube corner because we can finally reference one of our other videos. Yeah, we can send you over there. Yeah. Um, and then Dan Brooke, he worked on Only Money, that's the 10th one, and he's worked with uh, people like David Archuleta, Miley Cyrus, All Time Low again. Big Time Rush, Demi Lovato, Hot Shell Ray, Selena Gomez, and... So, metal bands. Metal yeah, bands. Yeah, more metal bands. Right. Mm-hmm. right. That's it for the production team. Now, the writing team, <laughs> whole different story. So, uh, so, before you get into that real quick, one one note. Sure. It, their old albums were produced mostly by an ex-member of the mm-hmm. of a data member. Was he not part of this at all? No. So, okay, so then Fueled by Ramen forced them. Yep. yep. Or they just didn't want to work with them because I don't... Which is see, weird. They, my, they're best friends with that guy. My mission in this whole thing was to find who's to blame? Who's to blame for this going so spectacularly I've badly? Is it Jeremy? It is it Dane Remember? Is it Fueled by Ramen? Is it having too many chefs in the kitchen? Who knows? But we're going to find right. out at the uh, by the end of this. Uh, we're going to get down to it. Okay. We're going to figure it out. Uh, next is the writing team. Uh, Jeremy's credited on all the tracks. Um, sure, of course. He's Colin, uh, the main producer, is credited for uh, tracks 1, 3, 5, 6, 8, 9, and 14. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kevin Scaff, the guitarist, is credited for the first, third, and fifth one. Uh, Mike Green uh, for the second, 11th, and 13th. Neil Westfall, 3, 4, and 10. So, And there, there's all the, the metal ones. Okay. The, all the, the guitars you're not even seeing the whole band the whole band is only credited for Viva La Mexico which, makes zero which is sense. a trash song yeah it's like Fucking and remember this song. isn't just this isn't lyrics right this is the entire composition of yeah, writing this is yeah. the writing that's why the, Jeremy's the, on all of them because he wrote the lyrics for he wrote the lyrics right. the band literally came in to write one fucking song on this the album full band and it sounds like they wrote it in a room and just said yeah that's good enough yep. yeah so they were they were given sheet music or they were told this is the the stuff that you play later i'll record it you play this later mm-hmm. that's what fucking happened yep yep pretty much uh you got will putney you got jonathan russell you got uh Matthew Averio, uh, basically three people from Cold War Kids all on high diving, which Brett, you hate. Yep. Uh, yeah, Andrew awful. Falk is on Bloodsucker. He's worked with Motionless and White, Kane Hill, I Prevail, Muir Can't Swim, Dance Gavin Dance, a bunch of stuff. Um, uh, Zach Carper on 13. He's from a band called Fiddler, which is stands for Fuck It Dog, Life's a Risk. <laughs> Uh, Dan Book, uh, Cody Quinstad, the vocalist from Wage War, is on uh, Resentment and on Permanent, the two actual good Every songs. Song, yeah. The only two good songs on this album. I, I bet you uh, Wage War, this happens to them too. Mm hmm. Yep. And finally, Nick Long from Dark Waves and John Bellion on. Yeah. The last one on the and bullshit. John, and, and John Bellion is like an Ed Sheeran kind of guy. Yeah. Right? Rice pop. Uh, I 75, 75, 75. Right. So, oh, for those one. of us keeping track at home, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ah, that's 17 writings credits for this one album for 14 songs produced by four different people. Now, that's now, too much, man. I, w- I want to know if it was worth it. Like, they have to pay all those people. Did they make no. their money back with no, this I'm album? Not. No. Could... no, I hope There's not. There's no I fucking way. Not in a million years. I, I am blaming cool. Field by Ramen. I have been since day one, and I'm going to continue to blame them for this. 
Atrocity. I mean, the, the same album. thing kind of happened with Paramore, but I think Paramore was never heavy. They were always pop, more pop than punk, right? Sure. The the new the latest albums with Paramore, they're fueled by ramen, right? They, they it doesn't suck, right? But it's, it's them. But it doesn't it's suck. Yeah. yeah. Same thing with uh, Panic at the Disco. It's different, but it doesn't technically suck. He's doing good things. He sounds good. The music's fine. But there's a problem here because the songs suck. The songs suck, and you can hear <laughs> Paramore and Fall Out Boy and Panic and even what they did to Gym Class Heroes. Like, you can hear yeah. all of that in these songs. You can it's, it's clear as day. Yeah, it's it, it's it's, it's a infuriating. label. It's a record label thing. Yeah, it's infuriating. Um, so to compare numbers, um, Bad Vibrations uh, debuted. Uh, at number two on Billboard Top 200, uh, selling over 67,000 copies in its first week. Oh yeah. This album came in at over 43,000 fewer than Bad Vibrations. Good. So wow. that whole 23,000 basically. And even Bad uh, Vibrations wasn't their their pinnacle. Like they didn't. That wasn't a peak for their career. No. God no. Right. So. Um. It's just wild. It, but where it does go on the charts, uh, it peaked at number three at the UK Rock and Metal. Um, Why? <laughs> so this is where we're going to get into some kind of like weird stuff where it's industry and where it's reality, right? Because right. industry numbers are always going to be weird for bigger bands, right? And they, they don't remember it's a bigger band. Arguably, yeah. the biggest band we've covered on here. Going by just pure popularity and numbers alone, but from what sure, the, like the mainstream the charts are telling you, right? Yeah. The genre. Yeah, they've done, yeah. of course. Uh, is yeah three in the rock and metal UK charts at number thirty six on the regular UK albums charts, uh, fifteen on the Billboard two hundred, uh, three on the top alt and rock, and then two on the hard rock, which is for some reason different than those other two. And these are all out of tens. No, this is like the out of the two hundred. Oh, I see. Yeah, they're ranked. Yeah, the, 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 this but, is the chart okay. rank. Right. Okay. How good it did. Good it wasn't a, a review. It was on the charts. Okay. No, okay. we'll get to those later. Because uh, okay. those are all over the place, too. All right. And, uh, but the most truest one uh, <laughs> only peaked at 166 on the Belgian charts. So. <laughs> yeah. Europe knows their metal, and this was not it. Yep. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, Interesting. Jeremy, going back to try to figure out uh, who's to blame for all this, um, Jeremy said in an interview with Kerrang that he wanted to take the Day to Remember sound with uh, their own take on their modern influences with it. They uh, demoed 42 fucking songs, and then this is the 14 they'd settled on, which is... They did I'd 42, carry. and this is 42. what they were left mm -hmm. with. Yep. Nate. Originally, it was set for a November 15th, 2019 release, but uh, famously, the album was pushed back to early 2020 due to quote-unquote mixing and incomplete artwork, which... Uh, we all know it did not happen that way, and it came out this year instead. Yeah. Uh, so that goes, that tells me it's not mixing. It doesn't take two years to mix an album right. And then or mix to, is to even make that, that album cover? Is that, that's... Yeah, just hire someone on Fiverr. Yeah. You know, you're telling me you don't have all these message words with Data Remember fans who would kill to get their artwork yeah. featured it's, as the album art? How fucking easy is this? They wanted to see if they could fix this shit. Yeah. And they couldn't. They couldn't. And they just said, fuck it, to send it out and move on. Yep. Listen, there was, a, there was a great bit in uh, the hit TV show, The League, where one of the characters would tinker with his lineup until the very last second. And he'd always fuck it up because he was tinkering too long instead of just being confident with what he had. Exactly what happened here. They yep. tinkered too much. And I don't know if this is, like, influenced by, like, you know, because they did that thing with Marshmello, right? They rescue me. That song didn't suck. Did they have an opportunity to do a real breakdown in there? Sure. Did they mm -hmm. even drop it like an EDM song? No. So it was like, that was disappointing. I Hopefully they don't make music like that anymore. And, th and then they did. <laughs> and so it wasn't like, oh, that's Marshmallow's fault. No, no. It seems no. like it's Dave Remember's fault. That's what I mean. Like, I don't know whether it is Fueled by Ramen, which there's a good case for that, or if this is just Jeremy. Because to me, sure. this whole album sounds like it could have just been a solo album, and it probably would have just been okay. Yeah, if it was just him making yeah. music, yeah. Like, imagine if Tillian forced Dance Gavin Dance to do stuff like his solo albums. It would be the worst thing ever. Yeah. But yeah. it's fine when he's doing it, because yeah. he's doing it. Yeah, like, I, I kind of agree with you. If 
if if Jeremy put out his own, he was like, this is my solo EP, Jeremy McKinnon, whatever. I would be like, okay. I hear a little bit of data remember in there. This is your yeah. thing. That's fine. But the problem is, I'm thinking, I've been listening to this band since fucking 2000 something, right? 2005, whatever. Yeah. I am disappointed as fuck that yeah. this is what we waited for. After we get a track like Resentment, it was like, wow, this is pretty cool. I love the next that song. Thing, you, the next thing you tell me, right, is like, this is not the heaviest song on the album. And you're teasing us for two fucking years. And then we get, oh, we run into a brick wall. This song sounds like fucking... We have we, a song we, called we, Fuck You Money. <laughs> yeah, it's Fuck You Money. We're going to be riding down on 75, 75, doing a buck 20. Yeah. First of all, you'd be dead. <laughs> but... <laughs> Besides the logistics of that, that song's bad. That is a <laughs> trash song. That, I am so Awful. cringed out when I hear that. I get fucking like goosebumps on my back, and not because I like it. You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm about to puke. Yeah. That's what it's like. It is so bad, <laughs> right? Like it's. I don't think I've ever been this aggressive towards us music. Oh yeah. <laughs> the whole time, like, this whole past week, I'm like, oh, Steph, I'm gonna tear this thing apart. God, I'm not even gonna try to. I'm trying to be nice and fair, and I'm just laying out the facts. I, I want to go back and give a try you a ten. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like, fuck me. This is so. Oh god. Um, uh, this, is, this is bad, dude. This is bad. All right, so let's go around the room. I mean, we've already kind of been like going into Shit. it, but like specifically, uh. Jo uh, Josh, what, what did you think? All right, so I'm gonna go go down my my list of criteria sure, here. Sure. Um, sitting in lyrics, they're so cringe. Like I, it's a it's a four. Like I was like some there's some stuff in here that's like okay, that's a catchy chorus, you know, or that's a cool you know call out to go into a breakdown. I get it, but like that's all you get, you know. Musicianship, it's a Treyu. They're decent, but there's so little that's, music I didn't musicians. Remember. They don't. <laughs> Rock say Trey, you fuck yeah. me. <laughs> remember, listen, I, okay. A day to remember. I want to turn back time. <laughs> I, I'm so my brain is melting. Uh, musicianship, there. It's a day to remember. I like them as a band, right? We've talked about this. I gave them a six just because the songs they do play on it does sound good. But there's a lot of songs on, that they have that. Where's the band? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, yeah. they're so nowhere. I, they're nowhere in the writing room. Clearly. Right. And um, I, you really feel that. Yeah. So my production. This is my highest score because it does sound good. Oh, the sound it's is just, good. Yeah. The band's, the music is bad, but it <laughs> sounds fine production wise. I gave yeah. them a seven there. Variety is a five. That's a fucking F, <laughs> right? Like, it's the same crap. Consistency. Consistent to what? Who are they? Who are they? That's a two. They d That's bad. <laughs> they d Dude, the fact that you go from your quote unquote, again, heaviest song ever with Last Chance to Dance. And then you go into fucking fuck you money. It's yeah. A, yep. uh, just whiplash. Dress, of a, dress, right. And then even, you know, album to album, like I'm trying to find consistencies. It's like, are they like hearkening back to anything they used to do at least a little bit? No, they don't. Yes, there's a breakdown in a fucking song. But oh, it's good like, job. good job. You know, so it's not there. And memorability, I don't remember one fucking thing except that 75 and the fuck you money part. <laughs> and I'm going to run into a brick wall or whatever the fuck. See, I don't even know the actual lyric. That's a fucking two as well. You don't even remember that resentment's on here. <laughs> so, it shouldn't have been. That should have been a single and be like, hey, we're writing. Here's I, something, a tease. That's I it. I told uh, Cody a couple days ago, I was like, I want to give this two grades because resent I like resentment. But it's going that's, to affect that's separate. the rest of the fucking uh, the album. Right. That song is a separate album. Mm -hmm. So this, so when I added all those scores up, I got a 4.3. All right. Well, we weren't doing that part yet. But so we'll come back to that. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Remember. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sorry. Brett, what were your thoughts on it? Um, I'm a, I'll go down the list as well. Um, okay. Lyrics. I thought I gave it uh, a five because I there's moments where I'm like I I can understand what he's actually trying to talk about. Mainly in like resentment, but, <laughs> but like it can't be the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, you know, but like no, there's a, that's why I said like uh, the the brick wall song, the first song I actually kind of like. The permanent is is okay. Um, and, well, we like, know that he stole he stole the melody line for. But that's brick the wall. thing is that yeah, he's stealing the, the amount of melodies. things that sound like other things. Yeah, that right. we were going it's through just, before the show. It's, it's, the it's interpolation issue. It's infuriating. Yep. It's so it's it's so maddening that like I can click on a song and go like that is literally this from another song, mm -hmm. the next song oh that's literally this from this song, yeah like you know what do you, 
what do you want from me? Like, I make make yeah. a fucking song. But uh, so yeah, moving on. Um, musicianship. I put. I can't remember the actual score. It was fairly high because like, yeah, when they do play it, I know. I it's know they good. can play it. I know it's not the most t- complicated shit in the world, but it's it's still not that bad. Mm-hmm. Um, production. I think I got like an eight because it, it does sound good. You know, the qual- the quality of it is good. Right. So same thinking there. Yeah. You know, it's just yeah. I don't like the song, but the I but the sound of it does does good. Yeah, they did a good job making it. It just the song's bad. Yeah. <laughs> um, variety. I give it like a four. Mm-hmm. Cause like it's there's a there's a. It, there's no variety, but there's also too much variety. You know, right, right. How do, yeah. how, like, like we were just saying, how do you go from like this heavy ass song to whatever the fuck that yeah you know, acoustic guitar? Right, yeah, it's not right. You know, like you can't you can't mm-hmm. do that. Um, and the consistency was just was fairly low as well because of that same exact thing. It's like there's just no there's no consistency. Right. Um, memorability, I ranked it higher just because I've listened to it so many times. I do remember it now. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I remember it being bad. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a. I would. It came out. I'm a. I'm a lower my score and just even it. Okay, but uh, tell me your score later. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because it was. It came out to decimals, but I, I want. I want that bitch as low as possible. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Uh, real quick, Jason makes a good point. He says, he says if they announce they're changing labels by the end of the year, it's because of this review. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, oh shit. Yeah. Well, it can't. It's not like they're just doing this to get out of their contract. It's a brand new contract. It's a brand new one, yeah. Yeah, they just got with Fueled by Ramen. So right. it's, it's not like it's not like just putting out a bullshit like remix album to be like, all right, that's the tenth album on the contract. Uh, bye, guys. No, what they should have done was re uh, re record. You know, for those who have heart or whatever, redo that. Yeah. If you're gonna do, if you want to do, hey, we're starting a new label. This is what we can do with a with a production team. Now we're gonna write Marcus your songs Rhodes later. Has, has had great success doing that. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. There's no thing. reason why you can't do that. Yep. All right, that's my other vinyl. Yeah. Is, is that uh, right? For me, um, mm-hmm. leading up to listening to it and all that stuff, I was comparing it a lot to our Inner Shikari, right? Because while they're two very different bands, they both started out in the similar scenes at around the same time. Both have had about the same amount of releases. Uh, they just did their sixth one. This is their seventh one and all that stuff. And they've both grown over time and changed their sound and all that stuff. But where Inner Shikari succeeds and Data Remember fails is that the heart and soul of Inner Shikari are still with the new albums, right? It's still just them writing everything very extensively to make everything sound interesting and different and all that other jazz. Whereas this one, it sounds like they were just throwing literally every idea they could at the wall and just throwing darts at those ideas to pick, okay, we're going to do this now. Mm. Like I I put in my notes, there's too many cooks in the fucking kitchen. Too many cooks, too many cooks. Um, Lyrically, a lot of it comes off as disingenuous. You know what it is? Is it's, it's the manatee tank with a bunch of the think balls. (laughs) <laughs> it's, oh, yeah. it's a Family Guy album. It's right. family guy. exactly a Family sure. Guy album. <laughs> um, yeah, lyrically, it all comes off as disingenuous. Like, I don't believe a single thing that Jeremy's writing about anymore. No, none of it, like, is relate relating to me in any way. Mm-hmm. Whereas the old albums, fucking, they're great. Yeah. Right? Um, I, I also thought having a song called Fuck You Money in a time where income inequality is such a touchy subject with a summer vibe really sticks out sorely right now there's like i was listening to this on my the, way to work with money in it yeah well yeah. see and there's the other thing the, if you read the lyrics which i did not get come across when listening to it i had to read the lyrics to get this um verses in uh only money the other money song is about his fucking grandma dying you would never get that from how the fucking chorus sounds and it's all whiny about my i don't have any friends anymore because i have too much money yeah <laughs> like shut up um, it, it lyrically and musically sounds like shit that rewrote when we didn't know what the fuck we were doing. Every breakdown you have in there is just baby's first breakdown. Yeah. There's no yep. odd into it. Sure. Um, mind reader, the lyrics are cringe and chat as fuck. Cause it's all about, oh, I don't get my girlfriend. She can't read my, I'm not a mind reader, babe. I don't know why you're mad. I know. <laughs> Fucking tool. You have a wife and a kid. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. No one cares. No one gives a shit, Jeremy. Shut up. Um, <laughs> it, the band's barely involved. 
this sounds like someone who is proud to vote for Biden would like this. Uh, it's the musical <laughs> equivalent of getting served at a restaurant on Kitchen Nightmares before Gordon Ramsay sorts it out. So, now going into my numbers, lyrics were a 3.5. Okay. Musicianship was a 6 because, you know, that was where the band is there. Probably the best part. Sure. You know? mm. Yeah. Um, I feel that. Production wise, I gave it a 4. Variety was a 3. Consistency was a 2. And memorability was a fucking negative 1 because I... I am so mad by how hype this fucking album was was teased. Oh, it's gonna be the best album. We're gonna do all the all the day to remember stuff. If you're a fan of day to remember. We're gonna have the old stuff. We're gonna have new stuff. It's gonna be so great. We're totally not selling out. Also, wait two years and we're gonna hype it up for fucking ever. Yeah. Yep. I want to for- yeah. get this album ever existed. The only song I want to remember is Resentment, and even when I remember it. It makes me not want to remember it. I don't want to remember it. That makes me remember that this album exists. Yep. Yep. Wipe it clean from the slate. Now, before we get into our number. Final scores. Yep. Let's get to around the net. Now, I got a lot of them for this one because I want to be as thorough as possible with this average. Are there a bunch Um, of cucks in here? I bet. I I bet. bet I bet. It is all over the place. Okay. Um, All (laughs) Music had it at a seven. Uh, Kerrang had it at a six. Okay, it's a little better. Okay. I'm going to skip this the third one because I want to come back to it. So uh, put okay. a note in there. All right. NME Hopefully gave it a four. Forget. Okay, good. Good for them. Uh-huh. That was actually, I read that review. It's very good. Yeah, it's good. Uh, Riff Magazine gave it an eight. You're, Why? You've lost your uh, mind. Uh huh. Wall of Sound gave it a 5.5. 5. Uh, okay. okay. Chill Your Stereo and PunkNews.org both gave it a two. <laughs> ah. Uh, good for dis- them. Yeah, Distorted Sound uh, had it a six. Uh, spin Spinnaker, uh, seven. Okay. Substream six. Uh, rate your music's average was a three point two four. Cool. Good job. Good job. Young right, folks had it at a six, and Sputnik had it at a five. Okay. Now I'm gonna have two averages because I don't want to include this third one because it's a fucking ten out of ten from New no- Noise ma- Magazine. What from who? New Noise Magazine. Whoever That's fucking real. reviewed it, it's not real. I read it and I was like, "It's uh, like this is the best album of all time." They're like, "Oh, this is great. This no. is so good. It's five no. out of five. And I had to double it." No, we're oh, gonna, like, we're uh, gonna cancel culture the shit out of them now. <laughs> okay, yeah. so they're they're, they're they're finished. So their yeah. number doesn't count. Um, yeah. So the uh, the average from around the net comes out to a five point two one. Okay. Yeah. All right. What what is a oh. uh, five point two one in our uh, Treyu? Is one yeah. five point one six. Okay. Yeah. So we'll, yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. So, um, Josh, what was your number? So my number was four point three. Four point three. Okay, Brett. Mm-hmm. What about you? Um, my official number was five point six six, but I'm gonna narrow that down to a five because they don't deserve the point six six. Yeah, they really don't. Yeah, my average was a two point nine two. So. Yeah. Especially with a negative in there. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, I, I did that on purpose. Like. <laughs> I could have just given it a zero, but I was like, no, I really want to make it sting. Mm-hmm. I'm, I felt so betrayed by this fucking Well, yeah, and Jason says this too. He's like, they tried to be trendy and they act like they know what, what their fans want. That This was so disconnected. Yep. And, and Cody, I'll, this band did a lot for you in your music career, yep. right? So, like, you tell me all the time, I can't believe I heard someone who sings and screams. They both do it. He, he does my it mind when, that ha- when I right. found them. Yeah. So, you know how many other people think the same way? They don't know any of us anymore. No. no. Hence the fuck you money thing. No yeah. one, neither, none of us are saying that. They're the Joe yeah. Rogans of post-hardcore. Okay? Yeah, what a bunch of bitches. All right, so uh, surprisingly to no one, coming in that last place. But our average, you guys ready? Do it. It's so a 4.07. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that was right. a point and then some blow baptized. There that, it is. that deserves the de- disintegration gun. Like just fucking it right off the to, planet. I hope to God that we don't have anything near that. I want that to be so down there by itself for so uh, long. So, oh, look at the two that are at the bottom, right? They're three Both points very away. very influential bands. Right. And yeah. to, to any of our career. And then we look at Devil Wears Prada. That's a standard average, right? Manchester Orca standard average. Mm-hmm. They're all in the sevens. These two are so low. They're, they're so dis- disconnected from their fan bases now. Yeah. Yeah. Like. No, the you know, I, 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 I almost rise against us sitting at like an 8.03. I mean, 
And and they've been around longer. Uh -huh. yeah, same time periods, whatever. Like, it doesn't make sense that they can... They did pull themselves out of a hole, but I just don't see a day to remember in a tray you Boy doing Cyrus that. Cyrus is up there. Uh, okay, I think... Okay, they definitely can pull themselves out of this hole on their next album. Both those two bands at the bottom Here, of the uh, list. Here, Brett, uh, let, let the audience see the, uh, the list. There you go. Okay. Yeah, so... They def both these two bands can find a way to make good music again because they have the, f the the ability to right. The question yeah. is, will they? Right? Are they that yeah. disconnected? Hey, hey, oh, I, you would hope so. Like a you I don't think they failed because of any of the issues that a day to remember have. I think it's more just growing pains with Alex leaving, um, sure. with very much drastically. Sh uh, shifting how the whole band chemistry uh, is and how it functions so that was always going to be a very shaky result um, okay. this one again I I don't know whether it's Jeremy having too much of an ego and not letting anyone else participate I don't know if it's the label I, what what do you guys think where, where do you put the blame I, I know yeah I've, the, I've... it seems like the culprit the most common denominator especially when you look at these other bands that have joined the label and changed their sound as well that it's fueled by ramen's production team yeah um whether that's them saying like we're going to produce what we want to produce and you're going to write the songs we give you you know i, yeah, I think not, that's what it is it could be but like then again you look at paramore and you look at panic the disco even though their sound has changed since you know the 2000s it's not bad. It's listenable. No, I can but, listen to their music. But what makes me think that and why I still stand behind that is because the, the Bad Vibrations was a day to remember top to bottom. It mm -hmm. was their album. Yeah, sure. And that is, I mean, when I listen to it, I'm like, that. I can, every fucking song, even the poppy ones, I'm like, that's a day to remember. Yeah. This, yeah. the very next album, you, Genuine. you go from, from you guys doing everything to Feel by Ramen is now doing it, and it sounds like this. That's that's the that's the record label. Yeah, like it'd be weird that in you know uh, those couple years of that gap where Jeremy just became this egomaniac. I, I don't think it happened that fast. No, I, you know, they couldn't have. Yeah. yeah, I don't know, man. He didn't. It's not like they fucking shot up in success when Bad Vibrations came out. No, right. You know, there was nothing. Most people don't even know that album exists in their life. Exactly. Right. The only thing I can think of is that maybe they were like, okay, we're on Fool by Ramen. All these bands from our era, you know, Bring Me to the Horizon, Panic of the Disco, et cetera, et cetera, are all doing really well on the fucking radio now. Do we need to try that? And then maybe they just fucking swung and miss, you know? But like, then again, Fueled by Ramen, like, what the fuck? Well, yeah. I, would, I would say maybe, maybe to that point. If it sounded even remotely like they were trying to emulate any of that stuff. Sure. Like we, we call out the Architects and Bring Me the Horizon clones all the time when we were listening to them on the breakdown uh, part of the podcast. Yeah. This doesn't sound anything like that. It sounds like they're trying to be Marshmallow. This sounds like they're trying to be on the fucking the top 40 stations instead. You're right. You're right. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. It's like they're not trying to uh, compete or participate in, in the hard rock. It just you know shifting their genre a little bit or their sound it's liter literally a genre sh change like they jumped ship so wow. all right let's let's all right. that's it moving fuck, on fuck this album i never want to hear about it see it any of that shit ever, ever again. again we finally got through it all right oblivion everybody it. Can can erase it from our fucking get it the fuck memories. out of here all right, Chad. So, I, hope Brett, you, I hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, bro. Uh, hey, listen, Day to Remember, if you ever watch this and you get this far and you haven't uh, rage quit out of the video yet, just know <laughs> it's all coming from a place of love. We want yeah. you to make a good album. You know, yeah, we don't you, want you to sound hey, like shit. You guys yeah, I mean, so much of our fucking life. Right. This and, <laughs> and perfect example, right? Your first, you know, album, for those who have heart, you know, not looking at the EP, that album was standard pop punk. Then you moved into this easy core stuff. That was a genre change. And we didn't hate it. And we stuck around. And we stuck around for 10 years after that. Mm. Right? So we're not saying you guys are failures. We're just saying you failed with this. Okay. You fucking okay, so Brad <laughs> <laughs> Also, don't be driving that piece of shit car going 120 miles an hour yeah. on fucking I-75 because that's dangerous as fuck. Yeah, so I've, I've done it. I, we've, we, all, all of us here have done it. <laughs> like, it's not fun. <laughs> it's not a good time. Don't do that. It's bad. <laughs>
All right, but that but that was uh, the end of the YouTube show. Well, before we go, Brett, you have an album to pick. I have to. I have oh, to that's pick right. You do have to choose for next week. Oh man, I still haven't really decided. There's, I've narrowed it down to the two. Um, are you doing? Are you doing a 15 year? It's going to be 06 or 07. Cody, I'm okay. going to let you decide okay. between 06 or 07. Let's go 06. Okay. Ladies and it's gentlemen, coming, Jason. Just not yet. We're going coming. to be doing Under Oath's album to find the great line. Okay. Okay. There, yep. there it is. What, what hey. was the other one? Uh, it was going to be a haste today, but um, pressure the hinges. Pressure okay, the I chose hinges. the right one then. <laughs> yeah. No, I think I think it works well with the 15 years coming up it's, on yeah, that. Yeah, it's a 15 year. Yeah. Um it's it's going to be fun. We actually get to listen to something that doesn't suck. It's the define so, the great line, right? Yep. Yeah, define the great line. Um I I, I I agree with you Jason. I know you keep saying MCR. We have an we have an idea. We have a plan. We, we yeah, do have yeah, a plan. We, we just just hold up. Just hold off on that, all right? We're we're, 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 we're going to circle back around. We're putting a pin in that. Yeah, it right. it will come. It will come. Black Parade also <laughs> going to be 15 soon. That's right. And that would be a great album to listen to, oh, especially weird. when Cody can dress up as one of the fucking members of the band. <laughs> I don't have a fucking marching band outfit. What are you talking about? Uh, I'll give you my, right, well, uh, my yeah. marching sticks. There you go. Yeah, there you, there you go. go. YouTube, that does it for us here. If you'd like to continue us, uh, continue us? If you'd like to continue <laughs> watching and hanging out with us, join us live on Sundays. Uh, the time might be changing soon to like a more evening show, but we'll figure that out later. Yep. Follow us on all the socials and you'll, you'll be up to date. Join us in Discord. That's right. Um, you know, uh, we're going to go listen to some music videos that we can't do on YouTube or else uh, Mickey Mouse will kill us or some shit. I didn't watch it. So <laughs> make sure to like it. Subscribe. Come watch us live. And uh, that's it. Goodbye, homies. Goodbye. Goodbye.